Hey everyone, so I promised that I was going to make a video or review on um, both um, The Foreigner and um, America Made, so this is what I do. Um, I'm going to do at least America, uh, no, America, Foreigner first, and then we'll see if I can, I'll do the uh, America Made one. So, uh, first things first, good morning. Because it's, well, actually it just turned this afternoon, so good afternoon. Um, so, the foreigner, and this is kind of a spoiler, so warning. Uh, spo uh, the foreigner is about uh, this guy uh, played by Jack Chan, uh, who is, I think they kept on saying 61 um, in the movie, uh, plays a 61 year old man whose last daughter uh, is going to go get a dress for her. Um, high school or college dance or something like that and then um as she goes in like a minute later a bomb explodes and um or no sorry uh goes in uh jack chan finds a place to park he goes to park he crashes into some uh guy and then just as they get out to talk to each other the bomb explodes he falls back has glasses, uh, glass all over his face. Um, he runs in, and you see him holding his dead daughter in his arms, and uh, and it's because of the IRA, I believe. That's what the uh, uh, Irish something something association or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, so um, and it's like a branch off of that. So, um, Jack Chan is from then on trying to get the police officers trying to try to do something, but they don't really do anything. So he starts doing it. He starts trying to research and do stuff himself. And, um, he finds out that Pierce Brosnan's character, uh, could possibly have something to do with it, which in a small, small itty bitty part, yes, he d does. But kind of not really in a way. Um, and the reason why I say this is because, um, yes, he uh, talked about wanting, or uh, he wanted the bombing, but he didn't want it in a place where people would get hurt. He just wanted to destroy buildings to make help his political career. Uh, so, anyways. Um, and then, so Jackie Chan is fixated on the names of the people that, uh, uh, killed his daughter or helped kill his daughter. So he, he's pretty much like a, uh, special ops, uh, stalker pretty much. And he ends up, uh, taking pictures of Pierce Bros and kissing someone that's not his wife, uh, blowing up it like cars and part of buildings and stuff like that to eventually he gets it uh he gets what he wants and he is pretty much able to get what he needs done and the police just end up leaving him alone in the end just because um he is um he kind of did them a favor in a way and also, I think it was just partially just due to the fact that he's gone through so much. Because, like, before the even uh, movie started back in the day, he had, they had to escape j uh, from, I think, Hong Kong back in the day just to get out. And uh, he lost two out of his uh, two children uh, to um, pirates. And then when he got over... When his wife got pregnant, his pre uh, wife uh, that got pregnant died uh, because of childbirth. And so she was technically her last um, relative living, which sucks. But, I mean, so. So overall, from top to bottom, um, I wouldn't say this is... I would say it's a great storyline, but you can say you have seen uh, 
parts of it from different movies here and there. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's an original film, but it is a very good film, in my opinion. Do I suggest you go see it? Please do. I mean, if uh, 40 some odd million dollars in his home country, Jackie Chan's home country, it can speak volumes, then hopefully he can make a, about the same amount over here or more. And I think the one problem he'll probably have is that he, his movie came out just after uh, Blade Runner 2049. And I think that's his only problem because I feel like if he didn't have that problem, then he most likely get a little bit more than he's going to right now. So uh, overall, awesome video. If you like Jack uh, movie, if you like Jack Chan movies, go see it. So whenever you watch this, good morning, good afternoon, good, good night. And hey, Jessica, hopefully you're not at work and you're at home or somewhere fun. Bye.